Looking at 2026, are you seeing any shift in the type of AI applications organizations are prioritizing, like more focus on generative AI versus traditional machine learning? Well, uh, again, as a, as a backdrop, you know, um, uh, 2026 is building on the successes of 2025. And, uh, and again, for me, 2025 was the year that Gen AI grew up. And what I mean by that is it's the year that we started to put in, into critical uh, use cases where we had real users at scale, like the example I just talked about um, with that large financial uh, company and salespeople. That's, enable, that's enabling what I see in 2026. And what I see in 2026 is the very real adoption of agent-based technology into core business workflows at, at large enterprises um, and, and companies. Um, and what, what do I mean by that? Imagine uh, when you are uh, you know, submitting a, a tax form or imagine when you are querying a particular HR policy. Well, increasingly what you're going to see in 2026 is that those requests are, where possible, offloaded to a very well-tuned and intelligent agent built on something like you know, Google's EDK or Agent Space or, um, you know, uh, Anthropic or, or Landgraph, any of those technologies. Technology, I think, doesn't really matter as much as we will see the large scale adoption of, we, we, well, I guess we call them agentic workflows. I think there's a running joke inside the company that agent is basically anything that you want it to mean. But, but in, in, in essence, what it means is that 2026 will be the year where I, you see much more wholesale adoption of agents. What does that mean? It means uh, better customer service. It means um, uh, increased employee satisfaction or retention because they're not waiting on tickets to be closed. It means faster onboarding, for example. And again, we're talking about ultimately back office processes here, which aren't very glamorous, but that's where the real value lies right now as in the state of the art in making these processes as, um, as quick and as accurate and as responsive as possible. 